now it's time to draw the snake on the walking stick. Um, I'm kind of nervous about doing a snake, but I'm going to try it again. I got the head cut out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera back and get everything ready for taping this and um, doing whatever I got to do to get you to see what I'm doing. So um, be right back. Okay, as you can see, my glasses on. I think you can see I've made a little X, and that's where I wanted to put the snake head. And I think I'm going to have it on a little bit of an angle this time. But I put it on with scotch tape. Just little bitty chunks. back one at the front so it's sitting in there now okay now I got to move the camera back up here a little bit I'm hoping that you can see this I took painter's tape cut it down the center so only about that much of it comes out and what I'm going to do put it on and then start stringing it around I know you didn't all see that. Uh, oop, a bad, a bad situation. <laughs> didn't have the camera set right. But anyway, I had it wrapped. Oh, let me get it up here. Okay. There's a snake, and then it's wrapped around to the tail. I don't know if I'm going to make it, probably make it a rattlesnake again. But uh, that's, that's how I do it. And then I just outline it with a plain old pencil. Um, I use mechanical pencils so I can just eat. And there's my more lead. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to film it because I don't know if I get you on get it on camera me me doing it because I have to do it towards me anyway so uh, I'll turn the camera off do this and then I'll show you okay got it all marked out take it off now and see what we what we got here I don't really try to make a a perfect line out of anything because as we're marking it out and cutting it it don't really matter anyway Ooh, looks like I get to go over a little knot right there okay well that's I don't know, I'm hoping you can see it marked out a lot of times I'll take and go over it and make it darker. Um, what I, I know I'm, I will do probably on this one as I'm carving on it is I will wear rubber gloves because I don't want to make the, the white really, really dirty. I see I already made a mark with a pencil down there that I didn't want to, but anyway. Uh, that's the basics of it so I'm gonna kind of fill it in and uh, I don't know if I'm going to start it today or not but I'll get my carving knives out and we will start following the lines and 
see what we can come up with. Okay. All right. Get back to you. Okay. I'm starting to cut along the outline. And I have to tell you, it's not as easy as it looks, people. You would think that this would just go as slick as cut butter. But it don't want to. start hitting different grains as you're going grains of the wood and it wants to pull your knife certain directions so you really gotta go slow And it's hard on your hands. Okay, got to the head. <laughs> Alright, I showed you what I'm doing, so I'm going to turn the camera off and go ahead and get the other side of the snake done. And then we'll do the the rattler in the head. Coming back to you. We interrupt this video with an important message. No, nah, not really. I'm just gonna stick this video in somewhere on one of the videos because I wanted to show you, I, I got them to, today, some of the wood I'm gonna be using uh, for canes. Um, might as well get right at it. Uh, this one here is hard maple hope you can see it. I, I'm, I didn't want to do it in the shop because I wanted to get it in more natural light. But anyway, yeah, this is a beautiful piece of wood. Beautiful piece of maple. But uh, that's one of them. You have to excuse the road noise again. Uh, they treat this road like it's Interstate 40, let me tell you. This one here, I believe it's called Jatoba. It's a little darker, kind of a chocolate color, covered, colored, not covered. Um, it's a beautiful green too, and, and I love uh, the coloration of it. And then this one here is really pretty special. This one here is called Paddock, I believe is the name of it. And it's got that reddish hewn to it with beautiful grain running through it. Uh, it's got quite big pores, so I'm, I'm hoping that uh, a little bit of sanding and, and some good uh, polyurethane will, will fill this in because it's just, it, it's gorgeous. It truly is. And some of the handles I'm going to use now, this one here, I, I've already made a video of, of putting it on. But uh, this one here will go on like this, and then you'll have another piece of the same wood going through the handle this way, and this way, however you want to see it. You know, with a little sticking out on one end. Uh, and and this, is a, this is a beautiful, very strong way of, of doing it. And then I have got a bunch of different types of handles. Like this one here, I believe this one is called leaves or something like that. But this is the type, and of course that would sit on top like this. And uh, I'm, I'm just really, really anxious. Now, there are, <coughs> excuse me, a bunch of other woods that I can use. Um, I can use a 
some of them, well, I guess I should say I will use, and some of them I can use if the people want me to. The prices of this wood varies from like $7 to $99 for this. $99. And I believe that was Coco Bolo. I believe. But anyway, <coughs> most of them are all going to be priced pretty much the same. And then we're going to have some that are going to be priced uh, a little bit higher because of the price of the wood. And then I probably have three price ranges. Um, we won't have anything to do with the handles, you know, uh, no matter what handle you buy, or you want, I should say, that I put on, that's going to stay the same. This is the, the cost here. Um, I guess it's where the wood is, um, how rare it is, probably. I don't know that. I believe that Coca Bolo or whatever it was, it's a beautiful chocolate color. I made uh, 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 a spacer out of that on a custom rifle here a few years back uh, on, on the stock of a custom rifle that I built. And uh, it was, I made a walnut stock with a Coca Bolo spacer and the butt plate. And it, was, you know, it turned out really nice. But uh, that little piece of wood wasn't that expensive, you know. So, but anyway, I, I just wanted to get this get this in. Uh, I will be ordering some more of the wood, um, so I have a a selection for everybody to to pick from. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get all this stuff advertised. Uh, Everybody wants so much money to uh, set up websites and stuff, and I just don't have that kind of money, so I'm looking for a way of getting uh, my advertisements out. And, uh, and one thing I want everybody to know is I, I've seen some guys make, that make walking sticks and stuff, and they must have 500 walking sticks sitting there, um, all done. Uh, I don't do that. I make them one at a time to order. Same way with the canes. One at a time to order. Um, and if I get behind, I will tell you how far behind I am uh, before you get your order placed for a permanent order. But anyway, I just wanted to get that in and uh, show you these three wonderful pieces of wood. And tell you kind of what I'm wanting to do and what I'm expecting myself to do. Uh, so well, I'll have to see how everything runs because I, like I said, um, the advertisement for this stuff is really expensive. And uh, you know, uh, single income, so I don't, um, anyway, uh, I'll figure it out some way, somehow. So, thank you again for watching, and thank you for letting me interrupt this uh, video, and uh, on with it we go. Okay, what I'm going to do on the rattle, I'm not going to sit here and make any hoopty doops. I'm just going to go on the top and just come to the outside of each loop and once I get everything cut down to size or deeper I should say then I will go in and cut the individual pieces out. I figured this way <laughs> would hopefully be the easiest way of getting it done. say 
best laid plans of mice and man. And having a long scratch like that in there every once in a while, that does happen. But uh, that will come out once we start digging out the whole thing. Okay. Now, let's go with the head here. say not trying to get an exact pattern just trying to get get it closely cut and then as you're trimming it out carving it out let me spin this around this way that's when you really define all the areas of the eyes and all that, and the nose and nostrils, flat spots on the head. And, but, uh, as you can tell, we've got neighbor children out here. And some parts of this aspen is as tough as iron. Okay. Got it all rounded out. So, I'm going to turn the camera off, kind of get myself a drink. And I did start carving a little bit right here. Uh, just to see how how it will go and it seems to be carving pretty good but I'm gonna Sharpen my Blade up a little bit and come back and we'll do a little carving. I don't know how much we'll get done, but we'll do it All right back at you in a bit Okay, I hope I got my camera set good for everybody and We got a little bit around here I'm gonna start carving the body Actually, I made the stop cut. I'm going to slice up to it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I can tell that this one is going to take me a while. Because I don't want to goof this one up. I guess my biggest thing is, is how deep to really go so I can get a nice round body look to it, you know, well, not round, but you know, shaped body. But, uh, I 
just want to do good, that's all. And I'm not as fast, of course, as a lot of people are that can just whip one of these out in a few hours, put the camera on fast forward and show you a finished project in one film. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is not me. In fact, I'm hoping I get it so you guys can even see it in the camera. That's my biggest thing, I think, right now, is getting the camera set right so people can see what in the world I'm doing instead of guessing. Like I said, this aspen just carves wonderfully. <laughs> Did you hear his radio? I could. Well, I'm going to shut the camera down. You know what I'm doing. So, let me get it set back up here to me. I love doing this. I really do. And I'm kind of worried about the, the snake, though, but... I'm going to just keep on carving, keep on going. So, uh, I'll probably carve up a little bit on the, you know, just the first round here and, and come back to you. Uh, we'll just have to see how much I get done and where I'm at at the time. So, I really appreciate everybody for watching and subscribing. Uh, it, it makes me feel good. So, thank you. Thank you all very much. Bye-bye.